Hello students. In this video and the next one, we'll look at um, one more application of trigonometry, and that is bearings. So let's go back about 200 years when um, people were traveling around the oceans only in sailboats. Well, they knew about compasses back in those days. So they knew about north, south, east, and west and halfway between north and east is northeast for example and they basically use these what are called cardinal points uh, in order to work out what direction they were traveling now it turns out eight cardinal points isn't enough because what if you're traveling say in this direction here you need some way of naming that so what they actually did is they came up with 32 different directions so halfway between north and northeast they called that north northeast Halfway between north and northwest, they called that north northwest. And then if you were traveling halfway between those two, they called that one north by west. And in here, northwest by north, etc. So in the olden days, that was sufficiently accurate. You couldn't sail a boat any more accurately than that. So they really didn't need a name or a number for, say, that angle just in there. Modern days, of course, we, we do need to have much more accuracy. And it turns out we have two different ways of naming directions or naming bearings. So the one that's most commonly used, so we'll do it first, is called true bearings. So true bearings start at the north. So if you're traveling in the northerly direction, you say that's zero degrees or 360 degrees. And just to make it uh, easier to transmit say over a phone or over a radio I should say um, your direction you always name each true bearing using three digits so rather than saying zero degrees you say zero 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 degrees rather than saying I'm traveling in a, a bearing of 60 degrees you go zero six zero I think the main reason for that is if you're transmitting a bearing and there's a bit of static and a bit of crackle, if the person only hears two digits, they know that they've missed one. They can say, please repeat that bearing, please. So true bearings, you always use three digits and we tend to say them by naming the digits rather than the number. So we don't say 60 degrees, we say 060 degrees. So bearings start at the north that's zero degrees, measured in a clockwise direction, that's 60 degrees, east is 90 degrees, south is 180, west is 270, and then back to zero once again. So let's go ahead and write those in. So north, zero, zero, zero. Okay, what should I write for east? Have a think about it. Remember, it has to be three digits. That's a 90 degree angle in there. So that's 0, 9, 0. That's a straight angle. So 180. And that one there is 360 take 90 or 180 plus 90. That's 270 degrees. Okay, let's play a little game. We're going to play the, the guess the true bearing game. So I'm going to give you an angle or a bearing. I want you to guess what it is, and then we can check it. Okay, so in your head, try to guess what angle we have here between north and the pink line. Putting the compass over the top, that looks like it's about 41 degrees or 041. What about one down here? Okay, have a guess at what that angle is. So... That's 180, that's 90, so somewhere between 90 and 180. In fact, I don't know what it is, so I'll have a guess. I'm gonna guess that's about 160. So you, you make a guess as well. Oops, and I'm a little bit too high. That's actually looks like about 152. Let's go over into this section just here. Okay, what do you reckon that angle might be? Well, if that's 270, that's about 25 degrees smaller I'm gonna guess uh, 245 up closer to 249 so I'm not too far off and let's do one just up here in fact I'll put it just about the center but not quite okay so that's 270 maybe another 40 
No, actually more than 45, so maybe another 50. I'm going to guess about 320. I'm getting better. Okay, that's around about 317. So true bearings, once again, north is zero. You go in a clockwise direction up to 250, uh, sorry, 359 degrees, and you name the bear, bearing by using three digits. For example, um, 317.